Hello everyone, this is Dan Pixel and Dover here. And today we're going to be reading ZQ42 from the United Version, also known as an AV version. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and say this right now. I believe this is a bit shorter than the the other two that we've done recently. But yeah, if you guys want to read along, you guys can go on Baba, or you guys can read along. Read along. I don't care how you guys want that, but that's going to get shut down. ZQ42, New Version, version and AV version. The rooms for the priest. Then the man, then the man led me northward into the outer court and brought me to the rooms, up, <coughs> sorry guys, opposite the temple courtyard and opposite the outer wall on the north side. The building was door faced north, was 100 cubits long and 50 cubits wide, both in the section 20 cubits from the inner court and in the section opposite the pavement of the outer court. Gallery faced gallery at the two, three levels. In front of the rooms was an inner passageway, 10 cubits wide. And 100 cubits long. The doors were on the north. Now the upper rooms are narrow, narrower, but the gallery took more space from them than from the rooms on the lower and middle floors of the building. The rooms on the top floor had no pillars as the court side, so they were smaller in floor space than those on the lo lower and middle floors. There was an outer wall parallel to the rooms in the outer court. It extended in front of the rooms for 50 cubits. While the row of rooms on the side next to the outer court was 50 cubits long, the row on the side nearest the sanctuary was 100 cubits long. The lower rooms had an entrance on the east side, as one enters them from the outer court. On the south side, along the lane for the wall of the outer court, adjoining, adjoining the temple courtyard and up opposite the outer wall, were rooms with a passageway in front of them. They were like the room. The, these were like the rooms. They had the same. <coughs> Sorry, guys. These were like the rooms on the north. They had the same length and width, with similar exits and dimensions. Similar to the doorways on the north were like doorways of the rooms on the south. There was a doorway at the beginning of the passageway that was parallel to the corresponding wall, extending eastward by which one enters the room. Then he said to me, the north and south rooms facing the temple courtyard are the priest's rooms, where the priests who approach the Lord will eat the most holy offerings. There are there, they will put the most holy offerings, the grain offerings, the sin offerings, and the guilt offerings, for the place is holy. Once the priests enter the holy precincts, they are not to go into the outer court until they leave behind the garments in which they minister. <coughs> Sorry, guys. But these are holy. They are to put on outer clothes before they go near the places that are for the people. When he had finished measuring what was inside the temple area, he led me outside. He led me out by the east gate and measured the area all around. He measured the east side with, with the measuring rod. It was 500 cubits. He measured the north side. It was 500 cubits by the measuring rod. He measured the, the south side. It was 500 cubits by the measuring rod. Then he turned to the west side and measured. It was 500 cubits by the measuring rod. So he measured the area on all four sides. It had a wall around it, 500 cubits long and 500 cubits wide to separate the holy from the common. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed. Again, I believe I'm quite sick, so I'm sorry if I guess I well okay, I did cough a bit. <coughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.